Select Ensemble.
guys going to be basket cases by May. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. Hmm. <laughs> We're going to let the crowd, crowd uh, die down. Director. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> I, uh, obviously, this is a very unique presentation, special show, um, and it, a lot of it's sort of my sense of humor. I mean, I, I, I go for this kind of, this kind of thing. Um, so I, I need to talk to you a lot about the showman end of things, showmanship end of things, all right? Because you have a lot of great ideas. They don't all work yet. That doesn't mean they won't work with very simple little things, all right? It's, um, Obviously, the, the strongest thing you can do is what you did at the end. That's the, the, the strongest thing you can do with an audience is say, this is so-and-so, and I really like her, him, whatever. And you went all the way around. I mean, that's, that, that was great. I mean, that, I, I've done that in many shows before. I've sat on the edge of the stage and done it, you know, where people said, you know, and, and you, know, you can do fun things like, um, I used to do things like we'd read group statistics that you know, we ate X amount of pizzas this year, and together our collective weight is 180 pounds, and we do, I mean, you can do all kinds of fun things like that, as well as talk about each other. Um, the important thing about all of that, first of all, I would not let, here's just an example, all right? I love what he did. He shouldn't be near the end, however, because you're getting into something more serious, and we couldn't change gears all of a sudden when we're laughing with him. I would start with him and then work around so that the last few people introductions are more heartfelt, that the blends better into the ballot. Okay, a simple little fix that will make all of that kind of feel better. All right. Uh, now, here's the, where I want you to really work. All right. You need to go back and relearn your music. Not that you don't know your music. Is that you let the shtick get so out of hand that uh, the music gets lost sometimes. It doesn't read, it doesn't make any sense. I Will Follow Him doesn't make any sense unless I can hear the lyric. Otherwise, it's just a couple girls pushing around a couple guys. All right, I just couldn't hear it. It got a little out of hand, that's all. 
That's all right. The idea is great. How you execute it is great. Now you go go back and sit down with your music and go, Sopranos, I got to hear this lyric. I got to know this. I got to know that. I think you left the music a little too early, maybe. Or you just haven't gone back. Does that make sense to you? I mean, I don't know your history of your preparation. But I would go back now because uh, a joke, a lyric joke, a visual joke that makes no sense unless the music's solid. All right? doesn't work. All that has to be, in fact, to be funny and to be theatrical, the music has to be even more solid than normally. All right? Otherwise, it doesn't read to an audience. You had four introductions, right? This show's about love, I understood. Okay. We're, we're the four people that do those introductions. I know you do one. Okay, I want to just, this will be kind of interesting to capsulize the introductions, because I'm not sure I followed you. Something you got to remember when, you, when you're in front of an audience. A, we see it one time. We hear it one time, we see it one time. All right? It's not that audiences are stupid, me included, because I'm standing out there trying to go, what in the heck are they doing? Right? But you have to be obvious. All right? Uh, who's at the first? Why don't you just, I want you to do the intros right in a row, like bang, bang, one, two, three, four. It, it kind of capsulates your whole show. So okay, you, right where you're standing, you don't have to come up. Okay. This should be in high school. Select an ensemble one to perform you many perceptions of love. Please enjoy our journey through this phenomenon. Right. Um, okay. What bothered me about that was that you did all the shtick, you did the coupon thing, you did that, and you came out like Miss Squaresville, all right? I would make, <laughs> and that threw me, that threw me. I thought, oh, she's going to do something, right? I don't know, maybe, I, maybe the, you know, the, the guy that did the coupon can do the intro. Maybe there's something else there. I didn't, that, that kind of threw me, and I didn't also understand all of that. The real important thing is the, the love. What's the line about love? The perceptions of love. I mean, I need, I need to be more theatrical with it. You're reading it like you're typing it, right? All right? That's why I didn't read it. I, I didn't understand it as an audience member. Okay, so your line, we'll go right down the line now. Yours? One more time. That's all right. Take your time. Student high school, select ensemble, let's perform humane perceptions of love. Please enjoy our journey through this phenomenon. That's what the initial said. It's a more committed junior high kind of thing. <laughs> Which is a great line. I mean, I laughed. I was the only one to laugh. A committed junior high kind of love. There's that there's an oxymoron. Go ahead. First of all, the women that are on That's the stronger intro. You know why? In this kind of a show, I don't think you need to say it. So now we are going to join us now as we sing. I think if you just describe the song and then let the song speak for itself, it's better. All right? Did you all get that they were, they were doing all those different shades of love and it started almost like junior high and got a little more mature and then all of a sudden got to a higher love? You did? I don't know if I got all of that. I don't know exactly how to fix that because you're saying all of it. I just didn't get all of it. I would just really lay for all those lines and really make sure we understand what you're doing. You've got a funny line. You could even make it funnier, right? I laugh because I heard the words, but I mean, you have, to, you have to punch it up a bit, as they like to say. All right. Let's make the opening work a little bit better, all right? Can we do the opening now? When you came in, what were your characters? <laughs> oh, well, I didn't get that. I didn't get that. Also, you need to use more of the stage. Your staging is such that it's just, it, you stay in a clump, and I, I don't know what to look at. You see, you've got to direct my eye right now. All right, let's start from the top and see, see if we can make, make the opening a little more defined. What's the underscore here? What music are you using? I mean, when they, are they coming in with music? Okay. Here it comes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good, I had him 
a bottle of Heinz ketchup or something. <laughs> Scar suddenly all of a sudden changed the whole feeling of the of the thing. All of a sudden they are wearing powdered wigs in there and right. It's it, this kind of thing when you're where you're playing one opposite and then you're going to explode into an other opposite. The way to make that work is explore at all costs the making it the most hoity-toity you can into the most rock and roll. You understand what I'm saying? Right now I didn't quite get what it was. Right? You're sort of milling around. I need more, more things going on that it's, it's truly a lot of bowing and things and people talking and, and, and laughing. And I don't hear enough titter-tatter, you know, that kind of party titter. Ooh, ha, ha, ha. Oh, oh dear. Oh, no, no, no. I don't hear any of that going on. It's not big enough. I don't read it. I don't read it. All right, look. Comedy is a serious business. And this doesn't work yet. This doesn't work. All right? All right? You have to be better actors, and you have to be able to go out on a limb even more. If you change that music, and just and, and a little Mozart, Scarlatti Sonata, something like that, it'll give us a better feel for all of this. Right? You can hear clinking of glasses, and somebody needs to be a waiter with a tray walking around serving people. I mean, you need to really create that mood before we can go into Great Balls of Fire. Right? <laughs> then, then the line here, the line, which is even better, is you need to you need to have a bill. Do you know Mozart's Sonata in B major? Uh, no, I I, I I don't know. Well, do you happen to know Scarlatti's da 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 da? No, I don't know that. Well, how about Jerry Lee Lewis? Great, but you know it's the it's the third one always, right? It needs that kind of a bill to get a laugh out of it. All right. Then I, I'm not sure how. You, let's, can we do the opening one more time and just see if you can see if we can play with it a little bit more? <laughs> Look, if you guys are going to do this, you got to do it right. It's hard. Go ahead, improvise anything. Titter, tetter, titter, tetter. Okay, now, now we need a mic. All right, now, we'll need, now, now, we get you, now we need to get you on a mic and do all that so we can actually hear you over that. All right, all right. Let's, that'll all work. You can play with that, but you understand the philosophy, all right, is that you need to take it to the nth degree, and you're not yet. It's better. It's better. You're still sort of milling around like cattle. It's a little, it's a little bit... All right. All right. All right. Where, at what moment do you go to Great Balls of Fire? Okay. All right. Let's let's go from there. All right. Where he says hit it. Why is that? You shake my nerves and you melt my brain. Too much love has made me insane. You broke my world. I've got to stop, don't I? Oh, I just got started with you. I've got so much to say about your show. Um, all of that, in order to work, is not rhythmically enough, uh, rhythmic enough for me. Kiss me, baby. Ooh, yeah, it feels good. It has to have that kind of bite to it. And you're kind of, it feels good. Kiss me, baby. All right, it's kind of, it kind of is just kind of nonchalant about it. All right, it has to be a lot stronger and rhythmic. All right, it has to be, and if you had a drummer behind you, you'd feel it right away. It's tough, it's tough. There's something rock and roll without a drummer. Second tune was, I will follow him. Big problem I follow him is I, I, didn't, I didn't follow the lyric, because I couldn't hear it. 
If you've got sopranos doing shtick with the guy, you've got to have somebody covering it in the group. All right? I'm not sure I followed all that. Uh, you had a nice moment. Now, here's an example where you went overboard. All right? The shtick that you do in the Billy Joel tune doesn't work. It, it takes away from the solo. It has what nothing to do. about when you say shtick? Shtick. Fun. Jokes. Okay. Jokes. I, you know, stuff that you do. Uh, business. Yeah. Little bitty business. It's a Yiddish term. It's a cat skills term, meaning shtick, like the little shtick you were doing with the guy. It, it doesn't fit in that particular moment. And all of a sudden, when, uh, and, this, and if I were singing the solo, that would bother me, all right? You take focus away from him, and you've got that little bit of business going on that doesn't make any sense. I think that's where you stepped over the line, and all of a sudden, it wasn't funny. You may have gotten a laugh, but it didn't really read, uh, read exactly what was going on with the guy, with the solo. Who's the soloist? Where are you? You're very good, very good. Um, oh boy, I wanted to spend time on your closer too. We still don't have time. Just to reiterate, you need to go back to the music, to the score, all right? That's real important. Because I love what you do. This will be a very entertaining show. The end, I know what I was gonna say about the end, candle on the water. All that just needs to move more. Also, I need underscore going on. You underscored when they talked at the end, right? I would underscore every intro. I like constant music going on. So the intros aren't in the clear, but just somehow you can, you can invent something where you're constantly got music going on. I would, those ends, I would pop all of those a lot quicker, right down the line. All right? Make sure, if you're going to be sincere, that it sounds sincere. Some of you sounded like somebody wrote this for me. All right? Some of you didn't. Some of you did. Some of you use words I don't believe for a second that you would use to describe the person that's sitting next to you. So just be careful. Unless it's funny, unless there's a reason for it. Look, it has to be natural. It has to be really natural. It has to be your own words and something that you would really mean, that you would really say about another person, even if you don't really like that person. It has to sound like it would come out of your mouth. All right, otherwise it doesn't work. Then it all of a sudden says, oh, it's, it's, it's theatrical, it's a stage production. The strength of that moment is what happens in an audience is that a, a, that a show becomes unreal because you're singing and dancing, you're doing things that an audience can't do. But suddenly, when you say, this is my friend, and you know we, go, we ride to school together every morning, and we both flunked algebra, or whatever you say about this person, it's real. Then you're real people, all right? Don't do anything in that last number that's going to take away from the fact that you're not who you are, all right? If you're really the clown, that's great. Is he? Okay. That's it. So everybody needs something that identifies themselves that way. I didn't feel that always with everybody. Does that make sense to you? All right. Uh, we've got to stop. Thank you. Excellent. Please stand up and stretch. Stand them up. Shake it out.